Welcome everybody back to the Mature Gamer uh, new channel. Um, this is I've uploaded my uh, new game plus encounter with Orensine and Smoke. Uh, this is the original uh, new game encounter. Uh, I was the lower level and so forth and so on. Um, and I had already uh, lost to them uh, or gotten beaten to by them about eh, nine or ten times or so. And I had realized that uh, I, maybe I'd be better off not splitting the attacks between them. I would hit Smoke, I would hit Ornstein. And uh, then I realized that I should. Uh, I remembered that uh, I'd read somewhere that uh, Ornstein drops the Leo ring. So I wasn't sure if I was going to do a new game plus. So I said, you know, well, let me uh, try to get uh, the uh, Leo ring this game in the event that uh, I don't do new game plus. So that would mean I would have to kill Smoke first and uh, save uh, Ornstein for last to get him to drop that ring. So having made that decision, I just said, well, to hell with it. I'm just going to go run in there like a maniac and just wail on uh, Smoke and hopefully get him out of there quick and then have to deal with uh, Skinny Ornstein. So uh, that's what you saw in the first attempt. I just went in there and I just was like, the hell with it. I'm just going to take him out, you know, hopefully uh, survive. Um, not the way I played it in this, you know, once I beat him in this encounter, uh, in New Game Plus, I fought it a little bit more with uh, uh, more tactically. So uh, when you guys are done with this video, you can go check that one out and see the difference between this one and that one. All right. Um, this one eventually, um, when I take out Smoke, um, ended up being kind of like a cat and mouse game between me and uh, uh, Ornstein. Is it's kind of easy to uh, his pattern to me was way easier to deal with than uh, Smoke. So uh, here's one of those points where my uh, I'm just waiting to see if I can get close to the other guy. Smoke and just attack him. I don't know if they got me early here. I have a feeling I'm going to go down here. But I'll get back in there. Okay, yeah, yeah, they're just whooping on me. Oh, I got a health potion off. Nice. And as you can see, um, I have... Uh, uh, the miracle heal up, okay, and um, I like having that up in, in these encounters because if I can get away and have enough time to get that miracle off, it's a good way to top off after taking an Estus instead of using a two Estus and you know basically just giving away wasting half of the health because you're already at full. Regular Estus might get me to three quarters full, and then the miracle will top me off. So, uh, but here I think they're gonna, yeah, they got me. All right. So I think it's the next one. So as you can see, I'm still trying to figure them out. So uh, I'm just running in there, but my mindset is just take out the big guy first. It'd be great if you could just run past these guys. I mean, you could, but, you know, I only have 10 Estus, and I wasn't the mood to take any damage. I just take them one at a time. It's not like they're hard or anything. And the Zweihander is a good weapon, uh, as if you two-hand it, when you hit these guys, you knock them down, and then you just come back with the second swipe. So, um, I have the Chloranthi uh, ring on, apparently, because, as you can see, I have the three arrows that are um, going up. 
Usually you get that if you wear the uh, grass crest shield. And I'm wearing the spider shield, which would be uh, uh, protects uh, office protection against poison. So it's not really an effective shield here, but I believe it gives 100% um, physical resistance. But uh, I was two-handing these guys. When I uh, when I flipped them in New Game Plus, uh, I was more sword and, shield, sword and shield. But here I was just going because I, I was, my mind was set on getting a smoke. I think this is why I got him. Yeah, because I already got him pretty low. So, yep, heal up. Avoid that. Uh, dodge. Go out there. I somehow didn't get hit by that. And finish him off here. All right. As I mentioned in the other video, um, when you, uh, if you get an opportunity to get the boss, you get him and you can. But if, if you can get him near the entrance, that's a better place to get him because if you get him toward the other side where I'm at now, uh, whichever boss is remaining after the cutscene will get a swing at you because you're right next to him. All right. You see how we did there and I took damage. All right. Whereas had I killed him at the other side, and, um, when he responds, even if he's near me on that side, he'll respawn on the other end of the arena. So you'll have distance. And if you need to heal or whatever, then you can do that. But where he healed where I was, I was next to him. And he took, I tried to get out, but he got me. Okay, so right here, the importance with him, it's he's very easy in, in, in this form because just keep the pillar between you and him and just wait for the time to go, I, uh, to get around there and get a couple of uh, swings at him. As you can see, the lightning doesn't go through the pillar. Uh, you stay a little bit back from the pillar because you can see it goes through the pillar. So if you're, say, one or two, uh, a tile away, it's going to probably go. There's an instance or two where he does that. I'm on the side and I'm kind of like half paying attention because I'm thinking I'm safe. And uh, he gets a shot. Let me see. see, I was able to uh, cover with the shield, so when he swung back, I had a little bit of defense on that. Okay, that was massive damage. But because I know the uh, pillar co cover, he can. He could cast that lightning all day. He's not going to get me, so I'll just heal up. And he casts five times, I believe. So you can heal up, do any miracle, buff, or whatever. I don't like buffing against the bosses. I think it makes the fights easier. I like going mano a mano. So if anything, I'll just have a lot of health. Yeah. Just, you see how he, he kind of lunged around it? And it goes a little bit in. Um... Weird that I didn't take as much time as I did the last time. You can also, if you have armor, that uh, protects you against lightning. That'll help in, uh, in this fight. Again, now I took a lot of damage. Come back here. you up. I don't have to worry about the uh, lightning because it's being picked off by the pillar. I should have actually taken uh, healing there because uh, I had time instead of using a big Estus. So now I have to be very, I'm very leery of uh, taking any further damage because I do have four. So four should be enough plus the heals, but you know, when you get this deep in this battle, you really would hate to lose it. Okay, I think that that moment right there was big because I started to go in and they're like, nah, let me just come back. I, I got him. Let me, let me not rush it. So I started going, and fortunately I came out because his next shot was the lightning bolt. Knowing that when he stabs me and he lifts me up in the air like that, when he scoops me up, I, it's drains me of a lot of health, so I try to make sure that if I'm going to get near him, I take the... Uh, I'm at full health, at least. 
Yeah, Miracle, topping myself off. Yeah, so uh, I find uh, I'm see, you know, a piece of cake at this point. I think I missed everything. Oh, I, got him. I know there's a sequence in here where I'm like right under him, and I don't, I, I miss him all three times. See, he got me. That's why I healed up. I never said I was a professional Dark Souls player. I will take damage. But the object was getting through them. See how it went through the uh, pillar? I dodged right here. I was, uh, I saw it coming. I was like, let me get out of here. Mm. Yeah, once he gets into this thing, it's just stand there right behind the column. And just wait. Now he should start coming in. I think that's his fifth. Wow, he must have taken his vitamins today. You see how he went through? And I was ready for it. Finally, the last pillar goes down. Miss, I think I miss here too. Miss again. Like, ah, let me reset. Bring him back to the other side. Also, if you have uh, souls laying around, you know, uh, it's usually not a good idea to try to get them early on in the fight. Because if you're going to beat them anyway, they'll be... Sometimes by trying to get the soul, it costs you your life. <laughs> so, you know, you might as well just wait till you beat them. If you're gonna die anyway. Unless you're going in there to say, oh, let me get them and then just home bone out. But, uh, you know, don't, don't let yourself get distracted by your souls. So, that's it. Um, uh, hope you guys, uh, picked up a few things on this and, uh, we'll see what's next. I'll, uh, hopefully get Artorius in and I'll be posting that soon. Sorry about the other ones. I didn't save those. So, all right. So, see, see you later.